Next at 6, the Wanakee School District is looking to address overcrowding concerns at several schools. Well, the News 3's Brad Jameson has more on some of the solutions proposed here, Brad. Well, these measures are really just going to be a short-term fix. Officials say two failed referenda to build a new school have forced them in a position to act now. These bushes right here would have to go. There's not much space outside. Monarchy Intermediate School to place a portable building housing two classrooms, but just like inside, they'll find a way to make it fit. We've got um, a lot of classes that are doubled up, and we haven't got space for kids to work. If you go in right now, I can guarantee you there are kids working in the hallways almost everywhere. With no room to grow, the Intermediate School uses every inch of space available. Our teacher's lounge at times is used to their breakout. As students try to balance during physical education in the cafeteria, <laughs> school district officials are trying to balance costs and find space. We're looking at four or five years down the road and we're at capacity. So the south part of our community has grown very rapidly. Um, as even with the downturn in the economy, we're still seeing new housing starts. Student enrollment projections continue to increase. The school board has approved moving one kindergarten class next year, about 20 students, across town from Arboretum Elementary to Prairie Elementary. It's a temporary fix, and officials say a new facility is still needed. I can't predict exactly when we'll be coming back, but it could be um, sometime probably next, next school year where we'll be back in front of the voters. Officials say a new long-term plan has to be created. Until then, portable classroom will help. I can move my French and my Spanish, my foreign language out here and that'll free up another room and I need that other room for uh, another class we're getting next year. Uh, in addition to shifting the kindergarten class and adding the portable classrooms, the school district will also be repurposing a building across from the high school to make it an alternative education center. Officials say they're reopening the dialogue for permanent solutions. Brad Chameson reporting tonight. Brad, thanks.